Hello and welcome to our flip video lesson for lesson 7.03, The Law. 7.03 details. Your Human Odyssey reading pages 228 to 232. Your Student Guide Workbook pages 212 to 214. There is no OMS assessment for 7.03. And then about the topic, the Ten Commandments. Today's lesson learning objectives are going to be to describe the importance of the Ten Commandments to the Hebrews and explain that Hebrew beliefs developed over time and then also to identify Moses. Lesson Introduction, The Law Please behave. You've probably heard that many times. But how do you know what that means? You probably know because a parent or some other responsible adult, adult taught you what is expected of you. The Hebrews believed God sent them the Ten Commandments to explain what he expected. The commandments were God's instructions to all the Hebrew people, not just the leaders. Hebrew ideas developed over time. Abraham made a covenant with God. God agreed Abraham's descendants would be his chosen people, and the Hebrews promised to worship only one God. The Hebrew people believed God had directed Moses to save them and lead them out of Egypt. The Jewish feast of Passover commemorates the Exodus and the angel of death passing over the Hebrews. The Hebrews believed Moses had received the Ten Commandments from God and that the commandments explained how the Hebrews were supposed to behave. The Hebrew people believed the Ten Commandments showed that God expected people to behave ethically. And ethically means um, morally, correctly, justly, um, kindness towards others. So go ahead and open your student guide to page 212. Once again, there's not much uh, area there for writing, so you may want to get a blank piece of paper or you can go ahead and write in the um, blank space next to that. I believe it's on page 214. There's some open space there. So question number one, who was Moses and what role did he play in the history of the Hebrews? According to the Bible, Moses led the Exodus, the Hebrews journey out of captivity in Egypt. Moses, Moses was the Hebrew leader who introduced the Ten Commandments. Number two, how did the story of the struggles of Moses help later generations of Hebrew people? The story of Moses' struggle supported other Hebrews through their own struggles. They were able to remember the story of Moses and believe that God would protect them if they continued to believe in him. Question number three, what ideas developed about God's expectations of the Hebrew people? The Hebrews came to believe there was only one God, their beliefs evolved over time. They believed that God cared for his people and cared about how they treated each other. God expected the Hebrews to act fairly and take care of the poor and the sick. And then question number four, what are the Ten Commandments? Why are the Ten Commandments important to the Hebrews? The Ten Commandments are rules to guide behavior with God and other people. The Ten Commandments represent God's law. The Hebrews regarded man's relationship with God as the most important relationship. They showed that everyone was equal in God's eye. They also let everyone know what God expected of them. And then turn to page 214. So you'll flip the page and you'll see that chart there comparing codes and laws. So you can go ahead and on your own um, identify the similarities in the moral and ethical ideas of Confucius and the Hebrews by, by drawing lines that connect similar beliefs. Okay, I didn't do that part on any of these slides, so I want you to go ahead and do that part on your own. What do you think are similarities between Confucianism and the Ten Commandments? And you can draw lines over there. And then down at the bottom, there are two questions. Describe the similarities in moral and ethical beliefs of the Hebrews and the followers of Confucius. A Confucian would strongly agree with the commandments governing human relationships. The most direct connection between the two is the duty to honor one's parents. Confucian teachings emphasize ethical and social obligations. The Ten Commandments emphasize moral and religious obligations and one's relationship to God. And then question number two, what is the main ideological difference between Confucianism and Judaism? There is no mention of a relationship with God in Confucianism. And this is why sometimes people consider Confucianism a philosophy that goes along with other religions uh, more so than just a religion on its own. But it is considered one of the world's um, one of the world's five uh, top five religions. But it, it again sometimes categorized as a philosophy, and we've talked about that before. 
Okay, so we come to your reading pages. As I've said, you really do need to make sure you have your reading complete to kind of tie all of the information together. So please make sure you do read pages 228 to pages 232. Uh, important vocabulary words to understand the Ten Commandments. Those are the ten rules given to Moses by God that dictate how humans should live and interact with one another, according to Judic and Christian traditions. Generation is all of the people born and living at about the same time regarded collectively. So typically, you know, my age is a generation, your age is a generation, your grandparents' age would be a generation. Relationship, the way in which two or more concepts, objects, or people are connected or the state of being connected. And then expectation, a strong belief that something will happen or be the case in the future. And we come to our quote section. It is customary these days to ignore what should be done in favor of what pleases us. So a good thing to remember. Thanks so much for joining me. The eight ways to a great day. Believe in yourself. Stay strong. Never give up. Be grateful. Work hard. Stay humble. Be kind. And keep smiling. Have a fabulous day. Thanks so much for joining me.